Well, hello, this is Steve Samuel, and I welcome you to the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. And today, I have a challenge. What I want to do is raise this ball. It is a sphere that's about 2.6 2 inches in diameter. And I want to raise it up, and I want to roll it along a track and down into a project that I termed the birth of the world. And I wanted to animate it, and I wanted to make the geometry in CAD before I did anything. As you can see, I've got a plexiglass uh, half tube, and I have this nice little screw. Uh, some would call it an Archimedean screw. And what I did was animate it to see how I could lift this ball. So when I click the little Go button, the Play button, as you can see, it animates very nicely, and it raises, and it raises slowly, and at some point it gets to the top. And when it gets to the top, I'll have a ramp, and the ramp will push it down into the other project. So there's some other projects that I've done, Birth of the World, and I'm continuing that. So as you can see, it goes all the way up, and then it stops there. I want to show you how I did it because there were some things, there were some choices that I made that, well, might uh, be interesting to you. So this is a rigid body, and that's a rigid body, and the screw is a rigid body, and actually the coordinate system is a rigid body. And what I did was I made a fixed constraint for the tube. I made a fixed constraint for the uh, coordinate system. I made a revolute for the screw, and I made a slider for the ball. So the first thing I tried was to have no slider and have, have contact between the screw thread and the ball and the, the half pipe. And then I put a position motor, um, a revolve position motor. Let's edit that. Uh, as I edit it, you can see that for five seconds, it turns uh, 1,800 degrees. And so that's what I tried. And when I played it, it uh, kind of worked, but not really. You can see that it is indeed lifting the ball. Um, I think as it goes, it is resolving a lot. There's a lot going on. And as you can see, it's kind of falling, and it's falling into itself, and oops, and it's doing some funky things. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, and look at that. So uh, I was um, intrigued by what happened, but I didn't exactly like it. So with the contact, theoretically, uh, it should contact between here and here in the ball. And as you can see, it's kind of working, and then it gets confused. I guess it's just too much math. So then I put a position, I put a slider joint on the ball and I put a position motor on that. And the slider joint and the position motor uh, moved it up as it turned and I programmed it so that it had a number of inches, the, the uh, requisite number of inches that would correspond to the turning. And then I played it again and then I had something that uh -oh, looked like that. And as you can see, it's not exactly, it's going very slowly. And uh, it did lift, however. And then it gets confused again. Okay. So then I took away the contact. Let's put the slider back on there. Wait, let's put the contact and the slider. There we go. Contact and slider. And go. And this was pretty good. I thought, okay. Now I've got something that's workable. But as you look at the timing, it's not really going on, going along the timing. Um, this is actually longer than the five seconds. And so I thought, oh, that's interesting. Um, I still want it to be more perfect than that. Okay, so then I decided, well, let's uh, take away the contact of the sphere and see what happens. And then I played it, and then it moved correctly. 
So there we go. Uh, I recognize that the contact and the motors and all of that, they kind of work in concert, but in certain cases for a screw thread, uh, the best solution that I found was uh, really just making the screw work kind of independently of the ball. So that's the best I could come up with at this moment. I'll continue to experiment to see if I get, so get something better, but this is pretty good. As you can see, it moves correctly and it gets to the top Boop, and it's done. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. It is uh, quite the privilege to do these things for you. Please like and subscribe and share them. And that, of course, enables me to put more energy into it and get more of these out there. You'll notice that there's a lot of other videos on the Design Visionaries YouTube channel. And we are growing, and it's wonderful. We're reaching out to all kinds of people who don't necessarily have the opportunity to learn this stuff. And there's a lot of information on this channel, and I appreciate your viewership. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Steve Samuel, and uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks.